Hello. So, uh, I'm Nidem, I'm the founder of Board of Innovation, and you might know me from uh, innovation blog, mouseover.be. Uh, I see very interesting evolutions, and one of those things is that information has become a commodity to us. Uh, if you look at the last 10 years, 15 years, the two new media, broadband and so on, we have full access to information. And to understand what's happening, uh, I created a small framework, just a basic timeline. We look at the past and we look at the future and see which kind of data uh, has been built up in the, in the recent years. So I try to visualize it in this way, with the richness of data uh, scale. Um, years, years ago, maybe 10 years, 15 years ago, we started what's very easy. We started with digital content that we already had. We had a lot of data on computers, on disks, whatever, and we just said, okay, there's the internet, there are these new things, just put everything online, just share it. Of course, this was the first step, a little bit grayish, uh, a little bit pink already, but the first step. Next step, we look for other formats. We have other uh, types of data, but it's uh, written down in books. So we create machines like this, scan hundreds of pages per hour, and just make this data accessible to everybody. Or people look in a magazine, see an article, type the facts and figures uh, in Wikipedia, and we just enrich uh, our data. Then it gets easier and easier, technology evolves. So uh, we'll view this uh, put something online in recent years. We had an auction online, we had a blog, somebody, I think most of you uh, did already. So uh, we, we, we just looked at the past, it become easier and easier, and we're approaching to the present, to the, the recent days. So you, you tell what you did uh, yesterday, this morning, but this is all very easy. It looks easy, uh, you, you try it a lot, um, but that's not a big success. Those things that look very hard, uh, there you can earn a lot of money with. But we don't try it, of course, because it looks very hard. But this is what we're trying to do today. We started with the easy things. Now companies are starting with the more difficult things. Just create new sets of data, take pictures of every street, of course, uh, put it online, make it accessible. But it's very hard, and some companies, companies are, are already doing this. So we're just evolving in, in this way, looking back, adding, adding more data to the system, and uh, building more services on top of this. And if you look further on, we're approaching the real-time web. Uh, who's tweeting in the recent hours? I, I've done this. Uh, I've, I'm on Gowala at this moment. I'm sharing my location. Everybody knows that I'm here. Uh, this is where, we, where we're heading at. People are sharing their data every time with all their peers. So this is uh, where we're heading now, present, of course. But the amount of data, the richness at this moment is not that complex. We're just sharing a simple location status update, a simple tweet. It's not that complex. We can, we can do better. So if you want to build a new service or uh, a new ID, where can you start? Where can you earn money in the coming, coming years? You need to understand what's, what's going on. And one of the first big ideas uh, for some companies is just look at the past which uh, types of data do we have already, look for important gaps and fill it up. So, one of the examples, okay. Here, for instance, we have all those maps and there are a lot of companies that look for the maps of the indoor places. They're taking pictures, maps of the shopping malls, big buildings, and so on. It's a huge task and hopefully someday they will earn a lot of money with it. And I think they will one day. If you do it right, uh, it has been proven before that it, that it could work, of course. But this is what I, 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 really, I really like. Uh, some services today uh, are looking at the future at this moment. They try to be one step ahead uh, for all those things that you're trying to do. Uh, we start very basic, of course, just like 10 years ago, we start with very basic digital content that we, had, that we had available. Today, we try to think a few seconds ahead. You all know Google, you try, you're typing, and instantly you, you're not finished yet, and already the weather is available to you. This is a good example. Volvo doesn't like it, but they try to avoid collisions in the recent press uh, demonstration. But instead of avoiding the collision in front of all the international press, the car just collapsed. It's very... Then, a few hours ahead, Nokia is, is looking at the behavior of your cell phone. Maybe every night you go to bed, you turn off uh, the, the sound, you put an alarm clock, and so on. Nokia learns this, and uh, over a few 
after after a while, your phone looks at your behavior and uh, do, does this automatically without you even uh, asking for it. Um, this weeks ahead, Google is looking at the flu queries. Uh, people are looking for uh, symptoms for flu, and now at this moment they're already two weeks ahead uh, compared to the regular data from the government. So they know when people will get sick in in a few weeks' time just by all this data. Google knows that even further on, there's a huge potential. So they bought, uh, a few weeks ago, they bought a company, Recorded Future, a company that claims they can predict the future months, years ahead. It's very interesting to see. Uh, they can predict merger acquisition, future events, all those kind of things. So this is where we're heading at. But a few years ahead, there are people today that share every aspect of their life. They share their relationships, who they're meeting, how many, uh, how many meetings they have, uh, I mean, what, what they ate, uh, and people are sharing all this data. This is from a guy, uh, Nick Felton, I think. Each year, he puts all this data online. And soon, we all will do. It's, I forget privacy, we all will share every aspect of our life. And then, look further on, a few generations ahead. Not only will you have all the data that is available at this moment, but you will also have all the data from the past generations. So I would uh, know where I will be going in my life in a few years' time, just based on all these things. And everybody looks at Minority Report for the big touch screens and the fancy technology, but also here it was just an idea. There was an organization that could predict the future, future crimes, and earns money by uh, intervening to uh, that crime. So this is, these, ideas, these ideas are living already. People are sharing already lots of data. Uh, that's what we do, one of the ideas. And since we have... Uh, a Belgian and, and Dutch crowd here. Uh, at, our, at our platform, we have a new uh, inspiration request for you, Belgia versus Nederland.be and Nederland versus Belgia.nl. Six questions for innovators and creative people, and uh, you could really help me with this uh, small questionnaire. Thank you. <laughs>